sloss and Humphreys on the road. Muggins and cream, cream and muggins, straight thugging, living the dream. That, that's our intro. Fucking muggles. Tickling the clit inside your head to make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they said it can't be done. Yeah, Ridley Scott just seems to be in a vein of complaining that people don't have the attention span for movies while making movies that don't need to be as long as they are. See, I don't understand how that wasn't class because he's been working on that for like decades. Man, and shit. the two fight scenes in it are amazing. But right. if you were to watch this movie, you would assume that in the 40 years of Napoleon's life that he had sex 4,000 times and was in two battles. Yes. Like it's just... <laughs> Like Ridley Scott's like is it better or worse than Alexander the Great Alexander? Hard, I mean, hard to it's. I mean, because that was one of the biggest letdowns. Uh huh. Angelina Jolie. But yeah. Bear in mind, House of Gucci was piping hot shit. House of Gucci was Ridley Scott's last movie before this. Was that Ridley Scott? No, I've seen it, but oh, it fucking. That seems like a bit of a gear change. It's Mm. it's come wanked onto the hot coals of a sauna that you're locked into shit. Absolutely. One it so of the good. worst things I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, Scott like you there? <laughs> um, I just found out recently, and I'm talking like in the last week or so, that Ridley Scott's a Jolly. Is he? He's from South Shields. He supports Hartlepool. My second question hell. when I, I I heard an interview with him, and I was like, he actually sounds Northumbrian, you know, when you're like, that's like Blythe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. like Whitley Bay or something. It's it was coastal. I remember I found out like Chris Rea. Is a Jordy. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, so he's when he's Jordy. driving home for Christmas? He's driving home to Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> he's, dri- he's driving through the time tunnel, getting fined. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let's listen to fucking uh, Ridley Scott. The thing to do as a filmmaker is to choose your subject. What are you going to do? It's like being a painter. What are you going to paint? And when you first begin, there's a... Well, it's not live. Uh, <laughs> it's very much a Davy Jones, Jordy accent. Uh, <laughs> he's Whitley Bay. Uh, is he Whitley yeah. Bay, I? about what is my story what is my script going to be about as you a bit of a posh twat mm. are we recording or are we doing things oh right ah, okay. yeah, this, is, this is the podcast this is the podcast do you, do you, this I've, is I've got a purposefully uh, triggering but real opinion for you right is it yeah. is it purposely because you know it will trigger me no I thought it and I was like well that's a real actual opinion I have right and I know one person that this real opinion I have will right. upset greatly okay the Martian is Ridley Scott's greatest movie set in space. Fuck off. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. But it is. <laughs> the Martian. Better than uh, Alien. Is that yeah. that shit with the, Matt Damon in it? It's such a good movie. Can uh, I watch that movie like at least it. once or twice a year? Is that the one where he's, in, he's just on the planet on his own? Aye. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good God, man. Like, uh, what else can I think of? Of, of what else did he make in space other than Alien? Aliens, Alien Covenant. Oh no, sorry, Al- aliens. aliens was James Cameron. Yeah. Alien was him. Uh, uh, Prometheus and Covenant. Prometheus was oh, one of the worst movies of all time. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. awful. Um, he's also, I mean, he's done some good, obviously. Obviously, Alien, excellent. Uh-huh. Blade Runner, good. Yeah, Legend, not yeah. seen. Legend? Uh, le- not that one. Not the one with. Uh, no. No, no, no. Not the one about the craze. The craze? No, not that one, no. I'm like, okay. I'm like, Tom Hardy's? <laughs> Thelma and Louise. The, the Tom Hardy brothers? Thelma and Louise I've never watched just because it was just referenced so fucking much. Is it? That's is that actually good? good? Okay. That's good, aye. Is that like a bit of a gangster film, Thelma and Louise? Nah, it's about two chicks that leave their... Like, a, chicks could be gangsters or... too, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Not in 1991, they couldn't be. <laughs> yeah, they drive their car off a cliff at the end. Uh, they have don't, parachute. Don't, don't, don't make no. driver. They have wingsuits, so they're like Jeb Collins. <laughs> 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 It's essentially a Mission Impossible film. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gladiator, Tooth obviously. Gladiator, obviously superb. We yeah. Love Gladiator. Hannibal. Hannibal's good. Good. Black Hawk Down, amazing. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Matchstick Men, didn't do that. That's a good one. Kingdom of Heaven, I remember being a bit guff. Is that Forrest Whitaker? No. Orlando Bloom? Yes, I think. Yeah, was it, is that Orlando Bloom? They're so easily confused as well. The <laughs> <laughs> they get it I'm all always, the time. I'm always doing that. <laughs> oh. I'm always accidentally knuckle pumping in Orlando Bloom. I'm oh, sorry, mate, for your first word again. Just give him a firm handshake. <laughs> American Gangster, excellent. Yep. Body of Lies, good. Oh, is that the one with DiCaprio in it? Yep. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, Robin Hood with Russell Crowe. Mm. Prometheus. St- uh, uh, uh. Counselor didn't watch. 
Exodus, Gods and Kings. I just remember all the reviews for that being bad. Martian. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to say that The Martian was his last good movie. Because mm. it went Martian, Alien Covenant, All the Money in the World, The Last Jewel, House of Gucci. The which, Last Jewel? The Last Jewel. Oh, Jewel. Not unless Hamas gets their way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> House of Gucci and Napoleon. Napoleon sucked ass. House of Gucci had one of the most excruciating, like, th- bits of, like, PR in it that made me so angry that I, I developed full-blown sexism for a day. Like I literally just a day? To, just, for, just for a day. That's I had to the go least to... you've ever had sexism? <laughs> oh, no, but it was 24-hour sexism. It was, like, <laughs> from the second I saw this interview, right, um, the... It's Lady Gaga's acting in it right now. I think Lady Gaga is an unbelievable musician, right? Mm. I fucking don't care what anyone says. What's that one she's in with Bradley Cooper? Um, Star is Born. Yeah. Uh Yeah. I don't hate it. I don't don't hate Star is Born. She's a good lad. (laughs) Uh, She's a decent bloke, She's a good bloke, tough bloke. She's she's an unbelievable writer. She's a good dancer. You know, she's weird looking, but who am I to judge? Um, She's taking a step into acting. Absolutely fine Mm -hmm. with that. Again, Star is Born good. In the movie, House of Gucci, right, there's a bit where she goes, as just her character, she goes, oh, in the name of the father and the House of Gucci, right? And it's, that's it. She just does that while saying a prayer. And then in an interview, she's like, I improv that. It's the name of the fucking movie. I, oh, I had to go outside and just be like, she's achieved more than you'll ever achieve. Like, she's more talented than you. Jesus. The, oh, oh, I, f- I couldn't fucking believe that that was a genuine... Just a little bit of improv. Fuck it. Uh, it's no it's no shag in a grave like Barry <laughs> Keoghan did. Right? That's improv! <laughs> um, what about uh, Django and Chained where he smashes the skull down and his hand bleeds and he wipes the blood Aye, that's, in that last face. That's Aye. improv, but also and then he like goes, assault. You're unchained, Django! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's my slave Django who's unchained. <laughs> Sorry, could you redo that again? The movie title isn't Django Who's Unchained. Yeah. Can you do it with a comma? Okay. I truly am the wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> um, Alec Baldwin improv that bit where he shot the cunt. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was a bit of improv. Yeah. Like, look in the script for that, you won't find it. Me, the iteration of that script, he absolutely thoroughly up for surprise shooting the camera woman. Man, I, look, obviously tragedy, etc., etc., and everything else that needs to be said before comedians do a fucking bit. How fucking funny. <laughs> he's been, I can't believe he's been charged with murder. I know, is that twice? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Does Mayda not imply that, like, it wasn't the script? No, he's such no. a he's such a good actor that they're like, man, we've seen the reels. <laughs> you were definitely trying to shoot there. He was doing an impression of Trump at the time as well. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ryan Cullen had the uh, had a bit about Alec Baldwin uh, killing the other person, which was so we started it in the group and nobody in the group enjoyed it as much as me and Cullen did. So we just started privately sending each other messages randomly. <laughs> and what it was was just images of Alec Baldwin after shooting the person <laughs> on, on the phone. On, on the phone. And just being like, just being like, honey, I want you to put on your fanciest dress. I've done it again. <laughs> I've got I've gotten away with murder. <laughs> then the next one just being him on the phone being like, I've it's just it's one of the it's just one of the most intense things I've I I I, 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 I can't sleep at night. All I do is I lay awake and I think about what happened and what I what I, what I did to her. And the doctor being like, "Well, I can get you some sleeping pills." She's like, "Sleeping pills, doc? I never want to wake up." <laughs> 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 just getting off on it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, is there have there been any other movies where somebody yes. has died? Yes, uh-huh. Bruce Lee's Bruce Lee's son, son Brendan Scott Lee. Yeah, he died. Died the crow. the crow. Hold on. First of all, Bruce Lee mm-hmm. is from... America. America. Ro- okay, right. <laughs> Go on. But where's he? Where's he really from? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just go with Brendan. Hong Kong? I, I don't know what it would be. I think where's he? Well... Where's he from, from Bruce Lee? Martial artist. Yeah, that's, you're sick of a five right there. Hong Kong Fu. Hong Kong Fu. <laughs> <laughs> so you're sticking to it. That's it. <laughs> that's it here. <laughs> Mark, do you know about, well, come on now, Jar. Oh, when you have to say something. 
If you say something problematic, instead of fixing the problem, you just stick you just chuck money it. at it. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and don't though. change. It's just easier. It's just easier than being actual fucking walk, which is exhausting uh, and pointless and detrimental. Hong Kong. Yeah, give us that money back yeah. from the charity. He does deserve his money back. It's Hong Kong, Hong Kong American martial artist. Okay. I knew that. Yeah, okay. Born in San Francisco. Okay. Named his son Brandon. Brandon. Born, in, born in San Brandon. Francisco. Oh, okay. He was Brandon, born, Lee. Oh. Brandon Lee. So how did he die in the crow? Um, he got shot. Pecked by a crow. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes pecked him. Pecked to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool no, stuff. I think wait, it was like an accident. Prometheus? On, it was an accident on set or something like that. Mm, I think. I did, I how did Brendan Lee die? Because Bruce Lee died on set as well. I think. Tommy Cooper as well. Tommy, yeah, Co- Tommy, Tommy Cooper, Cooper died dying on, on stage is one of the most haunting things I've ever seen. Yeah, because we were there. It's part of the. I I, I set up. Just the <laughs> the the curtain goes. Everyone thinks it's a joke. And it's just him dying while the entire audience is like, man, he commits mm. to a bit like nothing else. Oh. Mm. Like, because uh, you do think you go, I wonder if they could have saved them. Because obviously the dogs would be like, there's nothing we could have oh, done. Oh, yeah, like, just get him an aspirin instead of yeah. laughing. Mm. Yeah. 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 When they yeah. called for an encore, that was like, <laughs> 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 you come back on, had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> on March 31, uh, 31st, 1983, Lee was filming a scene for the film The Crow, in which his character is shot and killed by thugs. In the scene, Lee's character walks into his apartment and discovers his fiancée being beaten and raped. And a thug played by actor Michael Massey, Massey fires a Smith & Wesson Model 629, a magnum revolver at Lee's character as he walks in the room. In a film shoot prior to the fatal scene, the gun that was used as a proper real revolver was loaded with improperly made dummy rounds, improvised from live cartridges. So same, same thing. Do you know mm. uh, an actual story from that set? Is, what was the guy's name? Michael Massey. Yeah, yeah, Michael Massey. Uh, someone came on and went, right, Michael Massey, let's see who you really are. Pulled off a mask, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Zoinks. <laughs> um, I've done a bit of research on uh, the lad who played Danny Vineyard in American History X. He's also John Connor. Oh, aye. aye. Uh, I was for long. Edward Furlong, because I was like, he is one of the best child actors again, like fucking two of the best performances yeah. back to back there. And then just like nothing really after that. Yeah. Uh, he had a fucked up life after that. Like, Did not got, become a big junkie? Like. He, he, got, he got groomed off like somebody. I was literally about to say, I bet it was part of that fucking era of the... Groomed by a lass, right? Which... Which he went on to marry. All, as we all know. Which divorced him and took half his shit. His what? pedo took half his shit. <laughs> Of course he went to drugs. Listen, we've all, we've all been there, right? <laughs> Pedo fleeced them for half of his shit. People in glass houses. <laughs> Hold on. So he was groomed by a lady. Uh-huh, in power. Okay, and was she like a director like in, man- in some kind of level of management. In, right. In, so she was Hollywood. Uh-huh. And she groomed him. Mm-hmm. Fuck. You want to fact check this? And then got married. And then they, they marry. Uh-huh, and she, she took him for half his shit. Fuck it. How much and then all? and then he ended up uh, crowdfunding a new kidney because <laughs> <laughs> his pedo took out his kidney money. Uh, she took one of his kidneys as well. Kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> half his shit. What do you think I meant by half his shit? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of divorce settlement was this? Yeah. Look, I've unfor- lost one of my balls, <laughs> <laughs> virginity, and one legged now. Yeah, yeah. Sign here. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I've used my left hand. <laughs> you can't see the depth of your uh, the depth of your debt. I can't see the depth of anything. I've lost all perspective. <laughs> but he must have been old. Like, how old was he when he made Terminator Two? He'll go. But still, Matthew's make so. Gonna have to when Furlong, pff, what a shite name. Fairly long. Thirteen. Far yeah. Long. It's barely, is it? Is it? It's full. That's just. Name. Oh, that's not that's not weird. No, it's not. It's Edward Furlong. That's fine. I okay. thought it was his first oh, name. Right. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> Furlong Jones. Do you think he was like Cher? <laughs> he was just called Furlong. No, I thought Wikipedia was just doing his first name. I was like, who calls it? Who? I was literally very familiar. Who calls the child Furlong? That'd be like calling your son Miles. Oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. When Furlong was 13, fuck, man, he began a sexual relationship with his ah. stand-in and tutor, 26-year-old Jacqueline Domac. Oh, my God. Oh, they eventually began living together when California's statutory rape law changed in 1994 to allow the prosecution of adult women who have sex with minors. His uncle, Sean Furlong, snitched, I shouldn't have said snitched, um, <laughs> partner and tutor, 
uh, alleging rape, but was unsuccessful in having Domac prosecuted. In May 1999, Domac sued Ed. She sued Edward Forlan for domestic violence for 15% of everything he made. F you're getting beat up by a fucking 13-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be sexist for 24 hours again. It's coming back and feel. I, I almost called her toots. I felt it in the back of my throat. If you chin your pedo, you shouldn't get sued like. Nah. No. Nah. No, nah, you're absolutely allowed. Like, you're absolutely. Yeah. Hi. You're allowed to bat. I your chinned molester. me groomer. Now, I know this isn't important. I know this isn't important, but I'm going to Google what she looked like in 1990. <laughs> I was just going to ask you to do that. Uh, you know what I found out as well? Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. Susan. S Susan Weaver. Her name's Susan Weaver. Susan Weaver. Wow. It's devastating news, isn't it? Why did she choose Sigourney then? The uh, Great Gatsby. Ah. Uh, when she was 14. What, just as a cooler name? Aye. Uh, so not even, she wasn't even an actress, she just wanted a cooler name than sure. Susan Weaver. Aye. Uh, Susan Weaver's still quite a cool name, though. Aye, uh, Susan it's Weaver. No it's no Sigourney, but... Oh, my, I mean, she's literally going out with a fucking 13-year-old on her arm. Like, that is... Literally out and about Legit, with them. Legit, oh, to Hollywood. the red carpet thing. 90s Hollywood. That's fucking... Why is he wearing that coat? Like, he's wearing his dad's coat. Uh, to make him look older. Oh, yeah, man, no wonder you found fucking drugs. Oh, man. She does look his age there, though. Aye. Not that that means a thing. No, no. But a talent manager, oh, my God. Is she better be in fucking jail, right? Fuck knows. I think don't work. I we found out the other day that Vin Diesel's name's Mark Sinclair. No. Aye. Shit. Remember that bit you used to do about rappers', rappers names? names? Yeah, That's aye. class, that. Yeah, because I, 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 I literally w like archived all of them so people could shout them out. Yeah. I probably can't remember them all well now, but like Buster Rhymes was Trevor something. Yeah, I remember that Trevor. one. Trevor. Because I would, I would talk about who they really were with that name. Yeah, So yeah. you're going like uh, and Andre Young. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's a Scottish lad from Linlithgow, aye, but for like aye, a, an a, Italian Italian mom. Yeah, and uh, he works at the restaurant. He works at like the local Italian restaurant. He's still got a Scottish accent, but he's got a bit of Italian <laughs> heritage, and he'll absolutely hit on your lass while you're at the toilet. He'll <laughs> be at the table hitting on your bed. That's Andre Young. That's what Andre Young does. <laughs> well, he's been sober for three years now, but it doesn't say anything about her fucking being. And to be fair, I'm not going to claim it's fucking double standards because, like, you know, ra rapists tend to not go to mm. jail any anyway. You went out with a 26-year-old that looked 13, so what does that make you? Mm. What? Can when I you start getting with Cara. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does. Do, is, she looks 13 when she was... Cara nah, is five foot uh, three. No, no, she's always had huge tits. Right. right. So I'm, I'm, I'm. She looked like a thirty year old with huge tits. That's that's that's, a, that's all the defence she needs, uh, Judge. <laughs> See the kind <laughs> <laughs> And then he look up and go, "Yep, you're right." <laughs> <laughs> Hit the gavel. <laughs> No, definitely. There's Cara's Cara's of petite stature. She's five mm. foot three and fucking weighs as much as a lamb sneeze, um, and a lamb sneeze. A lamb sneeze. Aye. That was very. Uh, Did you just no, make that up. That was very. It's, it's something. Daniel. It's something I've said about it for a while. Never, ever, ever fucking <laughs> accuse me of that again. Had the same weight as a lamb sneeze. That's like a taste of chutney and regret. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Uh, if I if I. Was I would have one said unicorn and two sexually assaulted someone. <laughs> oh, allegedly, allegedly out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you might have to blank that one out. Uh, I, 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 heard, I, heard it, I just put Elliot Steele instead of. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, look, I'm just look, all, all I'll fucking say is right. What, there was the day where it was about to come out about Russell Brand being mm -hmm. a, a dirty, dirty oh, piece of shit. Oh, the name's getting bandied about, and man. All, and there were two types of comedians mm -hmm. in the world. So there was the type of comedian that was like us who were going, who do you think it's about? Who do you think it's about? Who do you think it's about? Meanwhile, me being like, I don't know exactly who this is about. And then the but, ones that are like, kangaroo court, you kind of do this. Well, yeah. Yeah. Innocent until proven, proven guilty. You're like, <laughs> oh. And uh, there were it? lots of other names that came up, as uh, they regularly do the whenever amount, this fucking happens. The amount happens. of names that just came up is like, oh, this is going to be the time when yeah. X, Y, and Z exactly. are, are going to come out. The, and it was the same names a bunch of times, and some of them I hadn't heard. Here's, some of them I was like, oh, really? That guy's got a lot of, a lot of smoke yeah. to have no fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them were devastating. Some of them were, I mean, there's the big, big, big one mm -hmm. that's, that won't come out until they die. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Good job, you can't whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Got to win any really giveaway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guy from the A team. What? <laughs> Peter Baragas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking no kid. <laughs> Do you think it is fair though that Alec Baldwin is? Look, we all agree it's funny that he's being charged with murder. Mm -hmm. That's not up for debate. The court was: is there laws involved of him being charged for murder? Answers absolutely. Is it fair that he's been charged for murder? Um, I don't think murder, manslaughter. Yes. Man's laughter. Because you have killed. Mm -hmm. You have been the cause of someone's death. Yes. But he didn't. I mean, he didn't. I, unless... How many times did he shoot her? Uh, <laughs> that, that's a big one. Aye. <laughs> I think everyone... Eh? Aye. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> but he said this thing wasn't loaded. If it was two at the chest and one at the head, just to make sure, then you go, right. Well... But, you know when we were shooting the zombie scene in Muff mm -hmm. at the beginning mm -hmm. and we had them airsoft guns, right? If you, like, pointed the gun at, at Joe Heenan or whoever mm -hmm. and then pulled the trigger and it fucking went off, are you... To, you yes, you ought to blame on that one because you've done every part of that, yeah. right? But if you're just the actor, like, it's handed the gun and then points the gun and shoots, where does that stand? Because, like, you, you, there's just an element of implied See, trust. Exactly, that's the problem. Like if you're, it, it, so there were there would be firearms experts there. They should have been doing the checks on yeah. the guns. So it's then that you go, but then there must be something else to it. Yeah, it's got to at be. That, at that point, you wouldn't, because if he's just handed a gun and uh -huh. gone, here's the safety gun, mm -hmm. yeah. shoot away. Because I, I wouldn't think they'd blind fire a fucking prop a couple of times before shooting the scene. No, exactly. Yeah. My, my, I would, man, when we were on sale, my, you, we were spinning the chambers, we were pretending to. But you would regularly just go up beside you, oh, behind yeah. your friends, and put a gun to the back. You did put a bullet in at one point and reenact the deer hunter. <laughs> <laughs> you ever know worried some of the pranks you yeah, did? Russian roulette. <clears throat> okay. You ever know worried some of the pranks you did, like on your pals? when you were younger, oh, might have resulted... I nearly I remember, killed Grassy. I remember when Jackass came out, some of the shit we used to do to each other was mm. like... Because I remember reading a thing about a guy that st stuck a... You know you, you know the fill your ears, tire things? Yeah. Uh, stuck no, up a guy's no. <laughs> oh, And like, oh, it killed him like almost immediately. Yeah, I read about that in the paper. And he went, to the, he went to jail and you go, that's the kind of shit I would have done. Like, yeah. genuinely. Yeah, I... I've, uh, Filled because you you take turns at like taking the strips and taking the water bottles at some yeah. league, right? And uh, we come to a training session. I had the water bottles, and when I filled them up, fucking put one of them with loads of fairy liquid in, just thinking that somebody would go Ugh, and spit it out. Yeah. Fucking grassy nearly nicked the full bottle. <laughs> He just fucking <laughs> down the hatch up and he's gone. Me and the fucking inside of his stomach just started getting eaten alive by the fucking uh, yeah. the, uh, the detergent. Yeah, and he was fucking off sick for weeks. Mm. And he was he was in a bad way. Like I fucking nearly murdered Grassy with fairy ah, liquid. That kind of shit. <laughs> my pal used to. My pal when we were at uni worked at McDonald's, and uh, two of the other lads that were there, they were mucking about, and one guy was just bent over putting something in, and the guy went and booted them up the arse, mm. right? But the way he caught him, he caught, his, he caught his tailbone. And basically paralysed the guy for the rest no. of his life. Oh my god! And you're like, that's just kicking someone up the arms. No, we we had one, and we we fixed it. Like I don't think it was the next day, but it was a couple of days later. Um, at our friend's house had just gone into a relationship, um, and we didn't. None of this was well thought through. We did not like his girlfriend. So when they went out for a fucking walk or anything, we went into his room. And pumped holes in all of his condoms. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> right, Daniel, man, Jesus. I agree. I agree. Right. So they come back and we're like, "I'll get them. I'll fucking show them." Right. Blah 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 blah. And then less than forty-eight hours, but more than twenty-four hours later, was I think one of us was like, "Hold oh, on, that'll keep them together." That's not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the opposite of what you were planning. Yeah, and then and then it transpired like even after a month uh, together, they hadn't had sex once. So we were, uh, you know, the condoms weren't for her. There was yeah. no. But I look back and I'm like, 
Uh, I had, I had done a bad one with my uh, supervisor at work put like fucking shampoo or conditioner or something in my sandwich and uh, like I ended up like tasting it. I didn't get in the way of grassy right. but to get him back when I was cleaning the lockers at the sports centre I found a pair of knickers and I put them in his bag and his wife went to his pack lunch and all that oh, and found a pair of knickers Jesus. in his bag and it nearly resulted in divorce and like Hirsty <laughs> Hirsty didn't even know it was me to blame right. it on us because like, I just blindly got him back for the sandwich thing and fucking he comes in and he's like fucking devastated his eyes are like fucking black were crying and all that and he's like my supervisor you can't he's, even like, defend he's like, it either fucking, black were like, crying sounds like she hit him <laughs> <laughs> he's like my fucking lass is kind of divorce us she thinks I'm cheating she's fucking full of pen that's a big bag and all that and I just went Oh, that's uh, see, I got something to tell you. Like, I wear, was, gr- I wear was, girl snickers. Sorry, uh, he was he was equal parts like fucking devastated that I'd done it, Aye. but then like glad that he had an answer but to what would, it was. But then I, I like would have looked a little bit like I got recruited as like a, exactly uh-huh. that's the thing, yeah. Because yeah. if he goes back to his last and goes, oh, it was Kai at work. Mm-hmm. She's not gonna go. Well, I explains everything then. Uh, that yeah. sounds perfectly reasonable. Uh-huh. Kids Nick has now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Just a postman. <laughs> You've been cheating. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I done a belt I once when we we're cleaning the lockers, right? I fucking uh, I opened the locker, right? And fun like this shitty pair of fo- like absolutely caked and shit pair of fucking boxers right and I picked them up got my mate's cloth with the bucket and put them in and just chucked his cloth and when he came back he fucking grabbed it and just rocked and I'm just digging oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I worked in when I worked in Topshop uh, regularly I'm talking like at least three times a year someone would take a shit in the changing rooms Great. Uh, like just like not even staff or punter. No punter, but not not in a way like oh my god I've been caught and I've farted or I've I've shit myself yeah, yeah. and I've left them an actual just curled up shit in <laughs> the d- corner of the changing. I room. never know, I never know how to say this politely, but you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Try, no well, I'll, to, I'll, give you, I'll give you one clue. That wasn't it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the There's no way to say it politely, but when I worked at that sports centre, we just knew when we were picking shite up off the floor. We just, we knew. just knew that it was... Well, like, they'd go, they'd God, I, wish, I wish Cullen was here so why? much. Why? <laughs> How did you know what was that? Pixie dust. Oh, <laughs> mate. The minute, the minute these lads come Wait, in... Is that a dodge I'm talking? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> the minute the lads come in, you'd see them coming in, and you just go and you'd be sat in the high chair, and you're like, the minute I'm left off this pool, I'm fucking picking up shade. <laughs> The minute I'm off what the a pool. sweeping generalisation. <laughs> they all sh- they, wait, so they, oh, don't, they, they don't even shit outdoors. They go into <laughs> publicly frequented oh. buildings with staff. Oh, mate, they come in and, and pay, don't shit in the toilets in those buildings. They pay fifty pence for the showers, right? <laughs> and they come in. They come in. This is this is something that actually happened. <laughs> this, this isn't me sweepingly generalising. There's toilets there. And nah. But Why they know we're going to clean Mark, them up. But, but Mark, you know what they're like. <laughs> they I, fucking. I don't think I've it. ever seen anyone create a slur. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this away from the sweeping generalisation to the encounter I had with the travelling community of Cramlington. But they used to come into that sports centre and just leave all of their clothes that they've had on for fucking months by the smell of it, right? <laughs> they'd fucking... They'd, they'd put on that clean shit and just leave me to tidy up. I, I, I'm a 19-year-old lad. <laughs> this is my experience. Thank, thank. So what? <laughs> With bogging clothes, uh-huh. just suit bags. Like, oh, like, man. Um, <laughs> when any came out like a fucking while, clear while eye. While I'm on over. one, I'll just go on ahead and say they've probably <laughs> been taking stuff off washing lines. <laughs> 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 now often often you'd find like um like George labels like all over the floor yeah. as well where they've just like took the oh, labels right. off their new gear but they just leave all that fucking old bogging gear that they've been um, uh, ferret hunting before <laughs> 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 I'm not allowed to do this. I don't yeah, know to do yeah. this. Man, man, we've long, long it's established. Not like it's <laughs> no, no, it's no. not like the West then. There's not a camp somewhere where right. someone's. White and Irish. It's absolutely fine. 
Uh, I mean, that was uh, that, that was such a just heart sinking moment as you just saw them come in. You're going, oh, he has trouble uh, with their fucking ukuleles and their lutes and their wee washboards. <laughs> yeah. Put a curse on us. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in fertile. <laughs> we had. Uh, we had a pro- there were lots of fucking wee scummy neds in Fife when you'd be growing up and like, because nobody had like a... No, this is this is the one where it's like a totally, you, you can you can absolutely stick shit the neds. Mm, yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. Uh-huh. And and the neds of Fife are fucking scum mm. and it's not enough, you know, don't get it's wrong. It's the one last generalisation left. Yeah. Is the neds. Well, the neds of Fife are the fuck. and I understand that it's like a, it's a, it's a societal problem, like you need funding in these areas to make it better, to, right? But also... Some of these people are just fucking shite cunts because mm. they were raised by shite cunts. What's a shite area of... Because I always think of Fife as being quite a nice That's because of... St. Andrews does the heavy lifting. Yeah. Because so, St. Andrews is technically joined to Fife, we're like, oh, we got the fucking the yeah. golf course and everything. St. Stonders is not Fife. Nobody, right. th- nobody apart from people in St. Andrews considers St. Andrews to be in Fife. Right. Fife is the coast, Glenrothes, Kirkcaldy, leaving fucking methyl. But aye, aye, oh. fucking where the East Fife play, New Bayview. Um, Fife, uh, Ely's quite nice, I guess. St, there's some of the coastal ones, right? St. Monas is really nice. Pitt and Weems, all right, Lower Largo, mm. Upper Largo. Uh, but like Glen Roth is. Is, is the mad inf- incest in Fife, or is that just like a cliche thing that you stick to Fife? I feel like there's probably a fair bit of like, it's not, there's, some people don't escape Fife. Mm. Like, you know, maybe because they don't want to because their cousins are hot. But so just there is a, a hard yeah. to leave. Is when we um, when we went to uh, like emos got such a fucking brutal time uh, <laughs> at, in Fife, right? Because emos were just going around, and be like, "We're sad, we're sad," and just nets were like, "We're all fucking sad. We live in Fife. <laughs> like, uh, why'd you have to dress different to show yeah. it, your pricks?" Um, nets, have, it, nets have survived generations though. Like emos, like was a bit of a flash in the pan on it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very, very 2000s, early 2000s. I did and you'll still get emos. Do you not? Uh, they're, they're, no, they've just got straight up depression. I don't think there's... Are they just different? Can you not remember the, the square in Newcastle that you'd walk past? Yeah, like, oh, hip, yeah, hip, I hip, remember hip, that, square. Yeah. And yeah. uh, it would just be, like, full of goths. Yeah. And that, like... But goths, I mean... That's Nemo. Ne- that's Nemo. That's just Christmas goths. markets and that now. Aye, uh, goths will be. Goths are... Goths are still like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Emos was a flash in the pan. Goths are, goths uh, are eternal. Like that's a. And were emos very also, much a musical? Was that what kind of led the yeah kind of my chemical? Well, it was back in the it was back in the days before we had depression and anxiety. Aye. Like dep- <laughs> it was just like it was unfathomable that teenagers were having a rough time with yeah. with life and social media had just come out, but there was n- and we were on all the time the internet. There was none of the negative effects of the internet, aye, uh, or or at least nobody knew about them. So it's just and I man, I fucking hated emos myself at school because it was just like y- y- you look unbelievably stupid like yeah. the b- mm. big fucking hair back combed up the ripped like boys with fucking like dyed black hair where they you must have only been able to see that much I under like their that. hair I and it takes a lot of work as well it's actually quite a vanity project it is mm-hmm. yeah it is. isn't it yeah it's yeah. that, that's what that's every kind of any every kind of group that considers themselves oh, we're the outsiders mm-hmm. we don't conform to mm-hmm. and you go whoa you spent a lot of fucking time not conforming here. Yeah, like, this yeah. is a real effort you've got. To Double like, checking yeah. with each other to make sure that you don't conform to the same music so you can all buy tickets to the same band. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I kind of uh, went with Ned because it was minimum effort. Uh, yeah. You just, like, throw on the closest you, stuff to the bed. Did you go with Ned or did Ned. Ned go with you? Like, huh? were, were you did, did you discover it or were you born into it? Was I born into Ned? I was born in a council estate, but, like, I had a good upbringing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like I had. I had when, na- when did you make the switch? I, I wasn't. I wasn't nasal with it. I was nasal na- Neds, I feel, is a particularly Scottish yeah. thing. Um, mm, nah. No. Do you get the Chava, the Chavas, the, the Chavas of Blythe and Ashton and all that would really? be nasally as well. Uh huh. Yeah, man. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you looking at? Aye, right, actually, Not aye, fair aye, enough. Okay. Um, the Frankie Boyle hit the nail on the head that it's um, from being raised by a single mother, and it's that like. That fucking eff- effeminate, angry voice. Oh yeah, is what the nasal, yeah, the that, nasal yeah. voice of a child is. Is like emulating your angry mother. Oh. So. Did you never go? Did you? Do you never went through an emo period? 
I went through a long hair period, but that was literally like my mum at the age of 15 was like, you're old enough to pay for your own haircuts. And I was like, oh, we'll fucking see. And then I, and I, I grew my hair so long that she was like, fair enough, I'll let you cut it. But I didn't, I didn't die yet. I had friends that were emo because I preferred the emos to the nets. Yeah. Um, but like our school was so fucking small way academy. Like whenever somebody like the emos one day would decide that they were going to have a party down on Canucker beach and um, fucking one place down on the beach, sorry, Simona's beach. And we'd all go down there. And then like the Neds would obviously fucking find out about it. Cause somebody had posted about it on people. Mm. And then you'd all be sitting around the fucking fire. And then like Neds would just come and throw like entire fucking canisters of like Lynx Africa into the, the fire, fire that we're all drinking around. Mm. And man, and man, it was fun. Like they blew up and they up in the sky, but you're like, man, all that required is one of those tends to go in one direction. And oh, then yeah. we're, uh, we're one of those fucking yeah. sad stories in the Fife Free Press. You're not giving a fuck about shit like that when you're that age, are you? No. No. And then the amount, of co- the amount of money it costs to get One Direction to play that party as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone took the chi- do you call them chicken chasers? Where you snap the uh, you snap the wood off a rocket. You know the you know with the well, like, like a firework, the cheap firework rockets that yeah, you can yeah. get, like fucking ten for a tenner or whatever. Aye. And you you put the play, plastic thing in, you put that, and you light it, and it goes up in the air. It's shite. Yeah. Aye. Snap that off, light it, chuck it, and it goes and like, some... everywhere. Yeah, you call yeah. it chicken chaser. <laughs> Uh, I was why, stu- why chicken chase? Chicken chase? I just because fucking running wild. It's just and everyone, <laughs> everyone that's running away from the lit firework is a chicken. chicken. chicken right? <laughs> Real men, if a no. firework's on, they just stand there exactly where they are and like, uh, God, I just decide. catch it and go. <laughs> I'm about <laughs> live sports centre. Live sports centre. I've been jumping up and down in the lift, and eventually it fucking stops on the way up, right? Because we're jumping up and down, and we're fucking uh, we're up in the lift doors, and you can see that one's open, and we're deciding whether you can claim it now. That and fucking John Rip and chuck the chicken chair. Sorry, and we're fucking <laughs> right and and the, and the left. Fucking lift. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Me and Rouge just fucking jumping. Oh. Running out of the floor. God, it's all, it? Fucking just fizzling. Oh, that's through. amazing. Pop, pop, now that and fucking yeah, are ringing in that. <laughs> Shite that. <laughs> they all got hurt. We, we, we used to, uh, when I used to work at uh, Paintball, Bedlam Paintball, right, way up in fucking Edzo, you'd buy, um, uh, the, the whole thing was just a scam to get money out of you, right? You charge people 20 quid to, and they can come and have five rounds of fucking paintball for only 20 mm. quid. They get full rental of their suit, full rental of the thing. What they don't tell you is you get 50 paintballs for free, right, which is fuck all, and then to buy 125 is 20 quid. Yeah, and that's that's where all the money comes from. You can also buy grenades, you can, which are shite. It just pops. Uh, on a yeah, bit of they've always up. been a bit of a con having the grenades. Of but the the smoke bombs were class. They were like legit. Yeah, that's like, cool. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing we would always do until our army boss fucking yelled at us is whenever somebody was loading up the back of the van, just when the van was like full to the fucking brim with everything, and there was only enough place to be putting the last one in. You light one of them, throw it in the back and shut it and then just smoke the cut out. I think who the people who we did that to do have some form of lung yeah. cancer right now. <laughs> Was there any like you know how like I'm trying to speak to you as if you're still in the industry. I am, um, I am. The, Leading pain, but you know paintball and guns, how it's just like you can't really I mean, there's only so many rounds you can fire off at a time. Has there ever been any upgrades on that? Yes. Like, Aye. can you get? They you took know, the lead out the paint. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that you know those big guns that like Rambo and Schwarzenegger have, where it's just a big barrel like that. Oh, like a mini gun. And- <laughs> so apparently now I've not seen it, and I've not, I've not used it, but I've seen like the new type of paintballing is it's smaller fucking pen- pellets that are more gelatin, so they actually burst. Because paint- getting hit by a paintball sucks. Oh, fucking it's horrible. Shit. It leaves a welt. Yeah, yeah, man, real brutal yeah. pain. Um, so apparently the new ones are, they're smaller, they're faster, and you can get clips. That's yeah, cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the fucking evolution of water guns is incredible. Uh, can you put an eye See, out now? super soakers and shit now. There's like fucking pump action ones and all sorts of the right. like coolest fucking things. Oh, man, I, I can't believe Nerf took so long. To, yeah. I, can't believe, I can't believe Nerf waited until I was in my fucking 20s before they went... Do you think we should just sell bags of darts? Yeah. Because Nerf would be like, you can buy a gun and it comes with eight darts. You go, what if I run out of darts? And like, buy another gun. You're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So I can't have Nerf fights with my friends then. Yeah. That's, like, there's a, the, it's, this has been fun when you're like, stop, we've got to go and collect all the bullets. Yeah. Whereas now, man, oh, we're all shopping. I would have spoiled Rambo if they had to collect all the bullets now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we, we, we were shopping with Kayla and there was literally like a bag of a thousand Nerf bullets for, I don't know, fucking 50. That's and, and you're like, that's that's all I ever Aye. wanted when I was young. 
was just unlimited versions of that. Oh yeah. And the oh, you get like the the proper like turrets on them and everything. Mate, there was unlimited versions. They called spud guns. <laughs> God, God, yeah, I remember Spice those. I used to love yeah. Gunman with me fucking bag of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> What's for tea now? Do you have shot it all? Like, <laughs> shot it all at your mates. We're meant to have chips, but uh, yeah. who gave yeah. you that? Who gave you that IRA gun? <laughs> <laughs> Spud gun, what an invention that was! Remember them cap guns as well, where they're like little like. Like little blanks that you yeah, put in yeah, them, yeah. so it would make they the pop, class, make yeah. the pop, and a little bit of smoke would come off. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah. Never put them in the gun though; just set them out in the pavement and smack them with a rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> them on the fire, I think. <laughs> that was uh, one of the best scenes of a film was in Bruges when he fucking he get, grabs the gun off him and he's like, "It's full of blanks," and he's like, "Oh yeah, right." <laughs> 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 he has the blank right into his face. <laughs> class. <laughs> I used to, um, I bought a G- G10, I think it was called, G10 uh, BB gun. Just to carry oh, BBs there. were horrific. Um, I can't believe they were ever allowed to be. I just like white and strapped. You'd kill someone with a BB gun. It's easily take the yeah. life. F- famously, my friends had fucking BB guns. I don't want to make you're drugs. killing anyone with a fucking Ah, you could. Me and Rouge used to fucking square up against each other. Rouge is one of my friends from school. We used to square up against each other on the uh, Isabella Pit Heap. Like fucking pistols at dawn, fucking fire each other. Nah, it's not strange to kill someone with a BB gun. Straight I'm through the you. You're not killing me with a G10 gat gun, like. I kill you easily with a. I've, <laughs> got, I've, got, I've got my car on now. So Unless you're pistol whippers, you're not killing us with a pellet gun. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to kill you, uh, you Unless you've got I'd a bayonet you. on your pellet gun, you're not killing us with a here it comes. The fuck's that in the end? <laughs> so, also, putting a bayonet on a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> Real excessive. <laughs> like you can't, so the whole point of a bayonet is that you've got Range. the... Well, and also, you've got two arms. It's a spear. You're turning a gun into a spear. Uh, you can't turn a fucking... Uh, just, put, just have yeah, the knife. Just have a knife, yeah. <laughs> just have yeah. The knife. If anything, you're making it more difficult. Uh, if I put a gun, a BB gun, right to the, your temple and fired it, I bet i kill you. Temple? Yeah. Like here. No, there. No, they are. There. They are. Temple. Oh, I, no, I, I, uh, I, 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 I did your jugular as well. I'll kill you as well. All right. But like, I can kill you with a skull. In, in, that skull. Ca- in that case, I can kill you with a pencil. Yeah, you could kill me with a pencil. Aye, uh, but like, yeah. they're not dangerous. No. <laughs> if I you have if to you opened your mouth uh, and I fucking shot you in the back of the Oh, throat, that would knack. I'd kill you. Mate, that would just knack. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be snap. mad at you. I'd, go right. <laughs> I'd be super <laughs> angry. I bet I'd go right through your spine. <laughs> Mark, you were prick. What do you mean? I thought you said you weren't going to pull the trigger. I never knew. I ne- when I was at high school, I never knew a single kid that had a BB gun and a good dad. There was a direct correlation between yeah. the kids I knew yeah. that owned BB guns. Their parents were divorced and they never saw their dad. And the one thing their dad did when he got to see them once every fucking six months, even though he was allowed to see them once every month, he just didn't because he was a shite dad, was give his fucking horrible little nerdy cunt kid a fucking BB yeah. gun. And by the way, if, they, if that's wrong... Did you never keep secrets from your dad? Huh? Did you never keep secrets from your dad? He's a dad across everything. He couldn't sit work fucking half of his life. You can absolutely get a BB gun with a good dad. Where? Ah, you could. Just go to the fucking shop and get one. You can buy BB guns when we were growing up. Like it was like it was like a book order sort of thing. Do you not have them up in, in news agents? Like you still you still get them in like if you go to, if you go to villages and stuff like that. The news little plastic ones, have. but they, they were never they were never like the power. They were never like BB. I'm talking like BB guns. You would have the option was, of them the little like oh, they made a copper the little pellets. Right. Oh, but yeah. then you've also got these kind of like what we'd, we'd call gats, where it's a slug. Right. Okay. It's like a um, looks like a shuttlecock kind of shape. Yeah, yeah. Right. So you get them, and then you would like single load them, and they'd right. be a bit more effective. But you, you could buy them. You could, de- you could definitely buy them. Always top shelf. Mm. Right. Just go, I'll, have a go, I'll have a gun in a porn mag, please, boss. Those news agents <laughs> that you get on summer towns, where it's not just a news agent, it's a toy shop as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you look up the back, and there's like a dusty fucking. Yeah. Ours, was, ours, was, ours was called Calsa, and it's not a Calsa yeah. anymore. It's a fucking. It's a chain. No. Yeah. But aye. Yeah, that's f- fishing shops as well, hobby shops. Aye. Yeah. Them, yeah. There's a cracking one in Newcastle. Um, mm. 
Uh, isn't it? Opposite near, the station. Yeah. To, towards, uh, towards the Dog and Parrot. Yeah, yeah, exactly that mm. on that street. It's called it's called something like hunting and fucking rifles or uh, something like that. There's there's knives, some, knives and guns yeah, in the window. It's just some <laughs> clash. There's, 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 there's yeah. some primal part you're walking by going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love nineties movies. <laughs> Would you, because, like, would you own a gun in America? No, I'd kill people. Yeah? Oh, 100%. Man, I would, uh, if I if I owned a gun in America, I would be in jail in less than a week. There's not a... Fa- you would fight intrusive thoughts far too much. Yeah, absolutely not. Man, I cannot have a gun, because there are so many people, especially in America, that absolutely fucking deserve to die. And you cannot them, allow me yeah. to... <laughs> Shoot them, then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a gun in a court of law yeah. come at you. but it's the same reason like there's two reasons I've never done MMA one because I'm, I'm I'm lazy and I just mm. can't fucking be arse and second if I knew how to batter people mm. I would 100% be in jail for battering people the only reason I don't beat people up isn't because I'm a good person it's because I physically can't so I just don't if I knew to batter man oh there'd be fucking dead dads in every fucking playground I went to yeah Fate, fate barely ever reached the legal system. I, the legal system is so... Uh, I, I, I don't get killing people, just not... Aye. Oh, mm. no, nobody's taken... No, I wouldn't have it. I mean, I reckon if I knocked someone out, you would... You, you'd, you'd, I, if, some, if somebody f- pissed me off to the, to the extent that some people pissed me off, even after I knocked someone out, you'd have to stop me picking up a brick and cave in their skull. <laughs> like, that's why I can't have guns. I had one, f- one fight where I was younger where I got arrested and questioned and I just said no comment all the way through it and I never got to a charge. Aye? Aye. Like, fights happened and the police couldn't give a fuck. Aye. You can d- just do it. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. Just encourage him to become. Would you, would you want a gun? I. Yeah. But I'd kill myself. Within, <laughs> oh, uh, with, yeah. Within yeah. the hour. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's how he knows so much yeah. of wood pelicans can kill him. He's done his research. <laughs> what, type of, what type of bullets are you looking for? You got any flavoured ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'd love the last taste of my mouth to be blueberry. <laughs> Did you used to call sweets bullets? No. Is that a jolly thing? No. There was there was a not. shop in Blythe called Backy Booze and Bullets. Cool. Backy Booze and Bullets. Oh, uh, coolest yes. shop name. And they would absolutely serve alcohol to children. Aye. We'd walk halfway across Blythe to get into Backy Booze and Bullets and buy our booze. Yeah. Aye. Mint shop that. I wonder what if it's did still you drink? Huh? What was your drink? White Lightning. Uh Fuck, I think mostly White Light and Mad Dog 2020. Oh, uh, God, yeah. Um, cans of, like, Fosters and that. Ah, uh, easy, like, easy lager. Ah, uh, easy yeah. lager. Glens. Glens? Oh, the worst, the worst vodka in the fucking world, but you could get, like, a 50 CL or 70 CL. You'd get them for, like, a five or sometimes, depending on where you were, and that was, like, a... If, man, if you if, when we were young, it was just about getting drunk as like yeah. quickly and as cheaply as possible. I even remember used to like sitting on the floor with my friend Graham at house parties and just been like, right, we both hate Glens because Glens is awful. Let's just do five shots each, right? Oh, so you weren't even mixing. You were just no, straight in no, the straight, no, because mixing would fucking so. And we would just throw back these things. If I were to smell Glens vodka now, I would vomit. Because <laughs> yeah. you, you experiment like that with uh, you got at the shop, which especially like when you fucking you know you're gonna get served in a place and you can peruse it. You're not just sending someone Aye. in for something. And you're going, oh gin, I've never had gin before, and you'll buy some gin and not realise that you're meant to have it with. Tonic and yeah. the splash of lime and yeah. some botanicals, and yeah. you're just passing the bottle of gin between you and your mates. Going, adults drink this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's true, actually. Yeah, because you're not getting the good stuff either. You're getting the cheapest you can get, yeah. like the fucking. Oh, there's not... definitely be some drinks that I couldn't. If I tasted it now, I would throw up immediately. Go on. Like, what's the? Remember Goldschlager? Oh, oh with, the, with the dumbest gimmick, urban fucking myth. In the world, I don't know if this was around the world, but Goldschlager was this horrible drink mm. that had gold flakes in it. And for some reason, one dumb teenager who didn't understand how anything worked decided to start the rumor that the reason I got you drunk is because the gold flake, gold, one of the softest metals, by the way, is famously soft. They have to add other things to it in order to make jewelry out of it. Super malleable. And also quite expensive. Yeah. To be willy nilly sprinkling in a drink. Yes, aye. They're like, these gold flakes cut 
the inside of your throat and that gets the booze in there and that's what gets you drunk faster because at no yeah, point you think that was pure gangster in your teens wouldn't you absolutely yeah. oh, I just, yeah. just right. lacerates your throat there uh, you're drinking a, yeah of course you have to do that you're drinking a sparkly drink of course you have to make it hard uh, you're drinking sh- glitter you fucking slurp shoggle slag will kill you as well um, I, I uh, hesitated to mention as well but hooch Hooch, I loved Hooch. Hooch, Hooch was um, fucking class. Wasn't Hooch only like three point four percent or something? Uh, it was a I, it was a proper kid. It was a proper kids drink because yeah. it's like alcoholic, but it tastes like so juice. easy to drink. Um, yeah. Also, can you remember the one of the original alcohol pops was called Mets? Mets, uh-huh. the Judder Man. Uh huh. Yeah, the Judder Man. What's the Judder Man? He was the guy that uh, yeah. advertised it. It right. was like a kind of fairy tale advert. Here comes the Jitterman. Yes, and the moon I... is fat, Jitterman. Like yeah, it, it was essentially. <laughs> I'm gonna say like a more tangy smear off ice. It was a very nicey lemonade, wasn't it? It uh, was like a very nice. I Mets was lovely. Ah, uh, so Met, Mets was a big one. Yeah. Um, what was that? Do you remember? I'm trying to think. There was a shot that was. It wasn't like a fireball or something like that, but it was like really. Oh my god! What's on? Like yeah, the Judder Man. It's amazing. Oh, hi. Told you. You did tell us. The moon is fat. There he is. There's me way to get me met. Huh? It's the Judder Man. And cunning. Claiming another victim. He looks like that really, really ugly Scottish actor that I struggle to support because he's so hideous looking. Uh, oh, let me find his name. Who? Scottish oh, actor, ugly. His name is Robert Arameo. I have no idea who this is. Who's that? Is, this, that, is that the, the gay guy from Behind Her Eyes? Yeah. I don't know him. Oh, he's, he plays uh, Elrond in the Lord of the Rings Prime thing, and he was in one oh, of the yes, Netflix does, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, I really want to support him, but any time oh, I see God. his face, I'm just like... Mm. You're a very shallow man. Oh, you don't be on... Go, go be a writer. <laughs> like, go be, go, uh, go, and, go and be a fucking... Go and be a voice actor, could you? Like, don't be... That, uh, and, and if you're going to be an actor, go, go and not go for the leads. Like, man, it's like the guy, that, that fucking show, the ugliest man I've ever seen. Colin. Uh, no, no, infinitely uglier than Colin. I can't believe this man, and I know this is horrible. I can't, I can't cannot, wait to see this fucking hideous mess. Uh, Paul Rust, I cannot believe this man was ever, ever, ever allowed to be on another side of the camera. Look at the fucking state. I me. <laughs> One of the, how fucking dare. What's he in? He's in, he's in a show called Love. Um, he's been in My Nightmares. <laughs> um, he's not in much. <laughs> he's in something with Jack Whitehall. So there you go. <laughs> and and Jack, if you say this, I'm sorry I make fun of you sometimes. Please don't get your friends to message me to tell me to stop bullying you, you fucking gimp. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would be the weakest fight ever, wouldn't it? You know, if them two went at it. What, you and Jack? One of them, like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, they, I don't know if we need to jump in or not. No one's getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Be the funniest thing he ever did. Oh. Danny, you're feisty. He got, He's my, coming off the shoes, man. He got, he, got a, he got another comedian to phone me, to beg me to not, to stop mentioning the fact that he was a joke thief in my show. For the fact that he's a joke thief in your show, did you mention that in your show? Uh-huh, and the joke's no longer in the show because because he does it now. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, I didn't know that. Who was the other comedian? Can you name the other comedian that he got to message you? <laughs> yeah, Edelman. What was it, Alex? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alex, Alex phoned me up and he went, "Do you call Jack White all a joke thief in your show?" And I went, "Yeah." He went, "Why?" I went, "Because he's a fucking joke thief." And he went. Oh yeah, well make sure they, Jack, Jack says he would never steal one of your jokes. And I'm like, man, this is one of my jokes. Jack could never pull off one of my jokes. Right? But and I sent him I sent him you the didn't t- kill his sister. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent I sent man, I said we've discussed this about podcast before. I sent the fucking clip through of him doing a set on Fallon and a joke another comedian had done nine years before it, word for word, and went, Aye. look me in the eye and tell me that's not fucking nicked. And he went, Aye. 
And he just went, I'll come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to say it was one of his writers, but that would make it me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mark, you're going on tour. You're on, on tour now, right? Yeah. When does this go out? This is going to be out to the uh, the loyals, the patrons, on Monday. Patrons. And on Wednesday to the adoring public. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm on um, tour then. But where can they see you from Monday onwards? Right, well, um, I'll tell you where. Um, so on Monday, so that'll be next week. So where am I? I am in uh, Carlisle on the Thursday. Fuck Thursday, yes. Thursday the 8th. Uh, Carlisle don't have the internet, they'll not. <laughs> 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 and then Manchester on the 11th. Great. Great. And then the next week after that, Blackpool, Oban. Blackpool and, then... and Carlisle is a very Mark Nelson yeah. tour. <laughs> open <laughs> just going back to my people <laughs> right sorry uh, read, read, the, read them out in read them all yeah I just... uh, and then Barnard Castle Leeds Liverpool North Allerton Sheffield Barnard Castle is always such a surprisingly good place yeah. to gig it is it's class isn't it yeah. rustic Rustic. The guy yeah. who runs it is amazing. Yeah, yep. Peter. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the places where, like, there was a time when we got to, uh, just after doing so many UK tours, I was just like, I'm going to blacklist 50 cities immediately. Mm. And I say cities, towns. Aye. Right, I just, I don't want to play these fucking little Aye. fucking places in it where it's only pensioners who turn up to support the local arts centre and they've got no like joy the in their life. and Swindons of yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, and then Barna Castle, I was just like, that can stay on because mm. they're Aye, just, they're, I don't good, they're good people. Put yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, so where can they find tickets? So on your website or your social media yeah or... social media it's just got the link tree thing right and great. they're all on there Mark Nelson comic uh, and if you really if you are in <coughs> Scotland um, then the King's Theatre one yes. is the yeah, big, the big, the big fella uh, what's the date of that one Cause 22nd I'll... of March 22nd Mark, of March yeah. are we back let's find out because we'll make a day of that if oh, we're back yeah, yeah. and I've got um, Colin opening yeah. oh, and I'll, I'll yeah, no, uh, we're 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 in Mar- yeah. March, yeah. Yeah. Mad it's March, busy month. Mad March, <laughs> Mad March, <laughs> Oh, he's in Denver tonight. Yeah, <laughs> he's in the. <laughs> so he is. He's fucking uh, so weird. Fucking someone might eat him. Think he's a Rocky Mountain oyster. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, is a bull's testicle. <laughs> <laughs> Bull's testicles, they call Rocky Mountain oysters. Is that right? yeah, yeah. yeah, I had them. Wow. I was eating oysters and I was like, isn't this landlocked? <laughs> not like, not oysters, what do they taste like? Bollocks. They just taste like Chewy, like, like chewy, like I didn't it, it wasn't like, well, it's sinewy is yeah. a good word for it, yeah. It wasn't like um, a witchery grove where you bite it and it's gooey like a fucking, no, like it's a, tough. A, the, the tuck that spunk out of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's sort of like a cream egg where you bite off the top. Uh, and you how do, how do you eat yours? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you say? What is, do you just get it as... They're deep fried. Like a, like, a, um, like a plate of them, like chicken nuggets, kind of. Yeah, you the, used to eat a ball. The fried Bill's right? ball. Mm, Fucking. Uh, you didn't touch them, did you? No. You rolled one around your mouth, didn't you, and then goggled. <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, no, not for me, this. Stop to the side of his I just rested them on my lower Sorry. back. <laughs> he, put two, he put two in and started humming. <laughs> <laughs> no, not for me, this. Not for me, this. <laughs> No, I, I didn't. I don't. There's like, I'll try most foods like once and stuff, but. I was I'll, like a fucking squirrel, mate. <laughs> I'll never eat, I'll never eat brains. I'll never eat uh, genitals. I'll never eat, um, like somebody was like, serving fucking duck tongue the other day. And I'm like, Jesus. I don't need to try duck mm. tongue, not for me. Oh, chicken hearts. Chicken you hearts are fucking chicken disgusting. Uh, yeah. They're foul. They're foul. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I fuck. Whitehall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know duck had a tongue. Yeah. Uh, despicable. I don't really think you did that. Yeah. Can I just do oh, that with your lips? What <laughs> <laughs> despicable. Oh, God, that's funny. Right. Right, cheers. Bye. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.